Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to this 50 minute lunge break flow, which is targeting the upper body. So we're not so much working on the hips in this practice. We're more targeting the chest, so opening the chest, collarbones, and also finding relaxation through the shoulders and the neck. I'll see you on the mat. Enjoy. Unless you would like to have a blanket to cover yourself up during your Shavasana, you don't need any additional props for today's practice. We'll start today's practice a little different by lying on the belly. Deciding for yourself if you want to have the feet together, hit which distance or a little wider apart. Maybe you want to make a pillow with your arms and your hands. Turning your head to one side. Close your eyes. Start to connect to your breath. See if you can breathe into the belly. Feeling the movement, the breath grates in your belly, side body and your back. Feel free to turn your head to the other side now, just to keep it balanced. Continue observing your breath. Take a few deeper inhalations now. Bring your feet together. Extend your right arm out to the side in a 90 degree angle. Place the left hand at the height of your shoulder, your chest, and then roll yourself onto the right hip, so onto the right side of your body. Your head stays resting on the floor. We're coming into a shoulder stretch. A few different options here. You can maybe place the left leg in front of you. Or if you want, you can place the left leg on top of the right, or maybe stepping the foot behind you if you want to come a little deeper into the pose. Increasing intensity by placing your left hand towards the lower back. Letting it fall behind you. Try to keep your body, the muscles soft and relaxed. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release. Slowly roll yourself back onto the belly. Bring your both arms beside your body. Turning the head to the other side. Changing sides now. So extend your left arm out 90 degree angle and roll yourself onto the left side of your body. Find your variation, your expression of this posture, and then settle into stillness. Muscles relaxed. 
your breath soft. Breathing in here again. And then on the exhale, roll yourself back onto the belly, arms besides your body, turning your head to the left. Place your hands in line with your chest. And press yourself up and back into tabletop. We'll warm up through the wrists now. So turn your right hand out. Maybe doing one hand after the other, maybe doing both hands at the same time. Experiment with putting weight onto the hands so that you can feel this on the inside of your wrist, on the inside of your forearm. Turn your hands back towards you now, so fingers pointing to the knees. Again, you can do one hand at a time or both hands together. Also here, experiment with how much weight you want to place onto the hands. Start to peel your hands off the mat now by shifting your hips slightly more back. Eventually you will come to sitting on your heels. Maybe you want to bring your legs together. Placing the back of your hands now to your rib cage, elbows out to the sides to stretch the wrist in the other direction. Bring your hands now to interlace behind your back. Draw the shoulders down and back. And then look up. Don't just let your head hang back. Pushing your throat forward. So you want to find extension across your throat. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release your head, release your hands. Bring the hands forward. Extend your arms forward. Make fists with your hands and start rotating through your wrists. Reverse the direction now. And then come back forward into tabletop, flowing through cat and cow in your own breath. On the inhalation, you're tilting the pelvis forward, arching the spine, opening the chest, looking to the front. On the exhalation, you're reversing the movement. So pelvis tilts back, spine becomes round, belly draws in, chin to the chest. Start deepening your breath here. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breath, you can start now. Otherwise, just focus on breathing deep and steady. In and out through the nose. Turn 
Tuck your toes under now. Slat your hands a little forward. Come into downward facing dog. Take any movement that your body is asking for to warm up. Maybe shifting the hips from side to side. Bending the legs. Lifting the heels. So checking that your hands are pressing the mat away, your fingers are spreading wide, your shoulders away from the ears, your head and your neck relaxed, maybe gently shaking out the head here. Finding a different variation of downward facing dog now by releasing the crown of the head towards the mat. Maybe the head is not touching the ground, that's totally fine. So working on opening the chest, the shoulders and the armpits. On your next inhale, transition forward to plank. Hold here for a breath. And then exhale back into downward facing dog. Step your feet forward now, arriving at the front of your mat. In Uttanasana, forward fold. On your next inhale with a straight spine, come up to standing. Reach your arms up and back, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Flowing through sun salutations now. Inhale, reach your arms up and back, arch back. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, step the right foot back, knee down, open your chest, shoulders down. Exhale, left foot back, plank straight away, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down, chest open. Exhale, left foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee down, open your chest. Exhale, right foot back, plank, straight away, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, chest open. Exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Straight away, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. A little different now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale, knee down, untuck your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up, arch back. Exhale, step it back to plank. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, stick with knees, chest and chin or come to chaturanga. 
Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right. Exhale, left knee and toes down. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, hands down, left foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, knee and toes down. Inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale, hands down, step back plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your version. Inhale, come through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left. Exhale, right knee, toes flat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down, right foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, step back, plank. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, hands down, left foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, plank. Inhale, here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, hands down, right foot forward. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Stay here. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. Let it slow down again. Become steady and deep again. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, open your eyes. Firmly ground down through your bow's feet. And then bend your legs, sink the hips down for chair pose. So keep your hands at the heart. Reach the arms out to the side and then interlace the hands behind your back. Inhale here, open your chest. Exhale, fold forward, connecting your torso, so your belly and your thighs. Try to maintain this connection of your belly and your thighs, only straightening your legs as much as you can still keep this connection. Try to release the arms further away from your back, keeping your fingers interlaced, palms closely touching. Inhale, lift halfway, open your arms out to the side into our plane. Take a breath here. And on the exhale, fold all the way forward, maybe bringing your hands to your calves to help you come deeper into the forward fold. Feel free to gently shake out your head. Bend your legs now, sink the pelvis down, reach the arms forward. We'll come into a variation of chair pose. Lift your heels, come onto the toes, and then start to lift your hips. You're staying in this low variation with your heels lifted. With control now, start to straighten your legs so you come to standing. Reach your arms high. 
palms facing one another now. Heels are still lifted. Hold the balance here. Take one more breath. And then plant the right foot down. Bring the left leg up. Hands to the heart. Bend the right leg again. As if you are sitting back into chair pose. And then place the left leg into a figure four shape onto the right. Different variations here. You can stay in this upright posture. Or if you want to go deeper, you can start folding forward. Only folding as far forward as you can still keep the spine long and the chest open. If you want to go deeper and work more on the hamstring stretch, fold all the way forward, straightening the right leg again. Hands come to the ground. Slowly lift your torso again if you are in the forward fold. Hands to the heart. Come to standing. Lift your left leg. And then step the foot all the way behind you. Finding high lunge. You want to find a really stable foundation through your feet here. Inhale, open your arms out to the sides. Open your chest. Working with your breath. So every inhalation you're pushing the sternum forward and up. Every exhalation you're drawing the shoulders closer together at your back. Bring your torso back to neutral. Interlace your hands behind your back. Plant your left foot down and out. 45 degree angle. Maybe sliding your right foot a little further to the right. Inhale here. Look up. Exhale. Start folding forward. Coming into humble warrior. Deciding how deep you want to go. And also working on bringing the arms away from your back. Deepening the stretch in the shoulders. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, step your left foot in a little bit more. Release the hands, bring them to the hips. So your feet are about three feet distance apart. Your hips are squaring forward. We're coming into pyramid pose. Either clasping opposite elbows behind your back or bringing your hands to reverse prayer. Inhale here. Exhale, start folding forward from the hip. So keep the length in the spine, the openness in the chest. You can micro bend the right leg here. Only going as far forward as you can maintain the length in the spine and the openness in your chest. Inhale, lift halfway, release the arms out to the sides. Exhale, hands to the ground, maybe a little forward, and then lift your left leg up. Standing split. If you want to go deeper, bring your right hand towards the right calf to pull your torso closer to the leg. Push the left foot up. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, step the left foot all the way back, hands to the ground. Bring the right foot back, flowing through your vinyasa of choice. Maybe adding in a three-legged chaturanga. We are all meeting back in downward facing dog. Look forward now, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose, hands to the heart.
Bring the hands to interlace behind your back now. This time, other finger on top. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Again, keeping connection of your belly and your thighs. Increasing the stretch across your shoulders by bringing your hands and arms further away from your back. Inhale, lifting halfway, release your arms, reach them out to the sides. Take a breath here. Then exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Maybe hands to the calves to pull you deeper into the forward fold. Bend your legs, sit the hips down, reach the arms forward and then lift your heels again. Doing this variation of chair pose for a second round. So stay on your toes, on the balls of the feet. And start to lift your hips a little, but stay in this low variation. Slow with control now. Come back up to standing. Heels stay lifted. Reach your arms high. Palms facing one another now. Shoulders relaxed. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release your left heel to the ground. Lift the right leg up in front of you, hands to the heart. Bend your left leg in, as if you were coming into chair pose. Place the right leg on top of the left in a figure four shape. Find your version of this posture again. You can stay upright. You can fold forward. Or you can release the hands to the ground and straighten the left leg. Wherever you are, listening to your body and listening to your breath. If you were in the forward fold, lift your torso again and come to standing, lift the right leg up. Inhale here. Exhale, step the right foot behind you, high lunge. Find your stable foundation through the feet. Inhale, open your arms out, come into the back bend and then work your way deeper into the back bend. Using the inhalation to open the chest, pushing the sternum up. And using the exhalation to bring the shoulder blades closer together at your back. Lift your head, lift your torso, interlace the hands behind your back. Plant the right foot down and out. Maybe step the left a little further out to the side. Again, other finger on top. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Finding your expression of this posture. Making sure that the left hip is not swaying out to the side too much. Try to bring it back in line with your left foot. Inhale, come back up. Straighten the left leg, step the right foot in. Three feet distance. Hands to the hips, square your hips forward. Bring the hands to your back, either holding opposite elbows or into reverse prayer. Inhale here, lengthen. 
Exhale, start folding forward. Only fold as far forward as you can maintain the length in the spine. Openness across your chest and your collarbones. Maybe it helps you to find a micro bend in your left leg. Also making sure that your hips are staying squared. So left side of the hip is pulling back, right side is pushing a little forward. Inhale, lift halfway, open the arms up to the sides and then exhale, release the hands a little forward, left foot stays on the ground, lift your right foot, coming into standing split, maybe walk the hands a little closer in, maybe bring the left hand towards the left calf to pull the torso even deeper, pushing the right foot as high as you can, trying to keep the right leg long and straight. Inhale here. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back, hands to the ground. Left foot back, either three-legged vinyasa or your vinyasa of choice. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Step your feet a little closer now. Keep the left hand on the ground. Reach the right hand towards the left calf. Coming into a twist over to the left side. Your legs can be bent here as well. Release. Right hand back forward. Changing sides. So left hand reaching for the right calf now. Twisting over to the right. Release now, left hand back onto the mat, look forward. Step or jump the feet forward and outside of your mat for a wide legged forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms out to the side, torso lifted halfway. Interlace the hands behind your back and exhale, fold forward. Your legs can also be slightly bent here. Maybe gently moving your head to make sure that there is no tension building up across the neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release the hands, open them out. And then place them back onto the mat in front of you. Coming into Skandasana, bend your right leg first. Left leg stays straight and lift the sole of the foot. This posture might look different for you. Just find a version that works for you where you can feel a stretch on your inner thighs into the hips. Finding movement now, so transition over to the left side. Left leg bend, right leg straight. Hands are in front of you on the ground for support. Shift over now from right to left a couple of times. Finding dynamic movement. You can keep the hands on the ground for support. Or if you want to challenge your balance, maybe bring the hands at your heart. And then shift over from side to side in this way. Come back to the center now, hands to the mat. And then either step back into plank or jump straight back into chaturanga. Flowing through your vinyasa of choice, but then hold 
in cobra or upward facing dog. Doesn't matter in which one you are. Inhale here, look forward. And then exhale, lower yourself down onto the belly. Maybe adding in an extra chaturanga. Bend your legs in. Grab the outsides of your ankles. We're coming into a variation of bow pose where the thighs are staying connected to the ground. So we're targeting more the upper body. On your inhale, lift your head and your chest. Push your feet, your ankles back into the hands. Every inhale, opening the chest more. Every exhale, pushing the feet back. Take another inhale here and then exhale, release. Make a pillow with your hands, turn your head to one side. Reach your right arm forward and roll yourself onto the back. Place your feet onto the ground, hip width distance apart, arms next to your body. You don't have to reach your fingertips to the heels, but have your heels close to your hips. Coming into bridge pose, inhale, push your hips up. If you want, you can interlace the hands again, shuffle the shoulders further underneath you. Also here, working with your breath. Inhale, lifts your chest, your sternum, and the exhale presses the feet deeper into the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, release the hands, release your hips. Stay here with your feet on the ground. Knees pointing straight forward. Decide for yourself if you want to come into Bridge pose again or move into wheel pose. If you are coming into wheel pose, place the hands in line with your head, elbows pointing straight back. Maybe coming onto the crown of the head first and then lifting yourself all the way up. Maybe you want to find some gentle movement here, shifting forward and backwards. Maybe you want to walk the hands in a little bit more. Take another deep inhale and then exhale, release. Open your knees out to the sides now, soles of the feet touching. Supta Baddha Konasana, recline bound angle. One hand on your heart, one hand on the belly, eyes closed. Feeling the breath in your belly. Feeling your heartbeat in your chest. Release your hands now, bring them to the outsides of your thighs and bring your legs up. Cross your right leg over the left now. Maybe moving your hips a little over to the right. If you want, you can also hook the right foot behind the left calf and then let your knees fall over to the left for a reclined twist. Right arm opens out to the side, right shoulder stays connected to the ground. Maybe you want to look over to the right or if you want to find a different variation, 
Maybe you can look over to the left, deciding for yourself which variation serves you better now. Starting to find relaxation in the body, your muscles. Slowly come back to the center and cross your legs. And then changing sides, so left leg crossing over the right now, hips coming over to the left, maybe hooking the feet. And then let your knees fall over to the right. Slowly come out of the posture now, bring your legs back to the center and cross them. And hug your both legs into the chest, maybe coming into a happy baby, holding either your calves or your shins or the outside edges of your feet. Pull the thighs and knees down towards the mat, sacrum down towards the mat. Maybe you want to find movement, maybe you just want to stay in stillness. Close your eyes and keep them closed until the end of the practice. Release your happy baby now. Hug your both legs in towards the chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Bring your head up, nose in between the knees. Take a deep inhale here and then exhale, release your whole body, coming into Shavasana, maybe taking your blanket to cover yourself up to stay warm. Take a moment to adjust your posture so that you don't have to adjust it during your Shavasana. Feet as wide as the mat, falling out to the sides. Arms slightly away from the body, palms facing up. Shoulders drawing gently in underneath you and your neck is long.
allowing your whole body to become completely still, still and heavy. Your breath has returned to its natural rhythm again. You're breathing in a gentle and soft way in and out through the nose. We're taking a little journey through the body now. Bringing the awareness to different parts of the body to sink deeper into relaxation. Bring your awareness now to the feet, the soles of your feet. Maybe you feel a tingling sensation there. Let your awareness now travel up your ankles to your shins and your calves. to your knees. Into the thighs. Towards your hips. Your both legs are completely heavy and relaxed. Bring your awareness back to your hip. Feel it heavy on the mat. Your awareness traveling up your spine now. Lower back, middle back, upper back and your shoulder blades. Along the front side of your torso now, your belly, your lower ribs, your whole rib cage, collarbones, your whole torso is completely heavy and relaxed. Bring your awareness to your shoulders now. Let your awareness travel down, upper arms, to the elbows, forearms, wrists, and your hands. Palm of your hands. Maybe you can feel a tingling here. Your both arms are completely heavy and relaxed. Bring your awareness now to your neck. Let your awareness travel to the back of your head, crown of your head, forehead, eyebrows, eyebrow center, nose and cheeks, your mouth and your jaw, your whole face, soft and relaxed. Your whole head is heavy and relaxed. Your whole body 
heavy and relaxed. Sinking down into the ground. Bring your awareness back now to your breath. Take a few conscious, deeper inhalations. Start to bring movement back into your body, starting with your hands and feet, turning your head from side to side, moving your wrists and your ankles. Bring your feet together, Reach the arms over the head. Inhale here, stretch. Exhale, release. Put your legs in, roll over onto one side. Take a few breaths here. Keep your eyes closed. Come up to sitting. Sit in your comfortable seated posture, maybe cross-legged, maybe on the heels. Bring your hands together at your heart now. Gently bow your head forward. When you're ready, open your eyes again. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me, my beautiful yoga friends. I hope you're feeling energized now, ready to start the second part of your work day. And if you like the video, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and I will see you again next time. Namaste.